Today we pick up our Bible study in Romans chapter 15, verses 22 through 29. In Romans chapter 15, verses 22 through 29, the Apostle Paul expresses his heartfelt desire to visit the church at Rome. But because of the time it has taken him in his travels and the events that he has encountered on his missionary journey, he has not been able to get there as of yet. He tells of his plans to come to them when he begins his journey to Spain, and that in doing so, hopefully they will give him support for his further journeys. But first, he must take an offering to Jerusalem from the churches at Macedonia and Achaia. Paul explains in Romans chapter 15, verse 27b, quoting from the New King James Version, For if the Gentiles had been partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister to them in material things. This is an example of the action in which the Apostle Paul is taken in the gift of, that God has given him in ministry. This is an example that when we, we receive the gifts that God gives us, it may take some time to accomplish, as knowing also requires growing in preparation to develop the gift or gifts that God gives us. We get excited when we realize the gift or gifts that God gives us. We're anxious to see them utilized to bring God glory through our lives. But as God reveals those things to us, we also need to allow God to work through his Holy Spirit in our lives to develop those gifts. It takes time. It takes time to learn in God's word of how he desires us to be in this life that our reward would be realized in the next life eternal in heaven. It takes dedication to a daily study of God's word and time spent in prayer for God to then give us the tools needed to take the next step in our growth in him. As he grows and develops us in the plan he has for our lives to bring him glory, we realize that it is a never-ending process as we grow closer and closer to God through our salvation in Christ Jesus. As we put into action the plan God has for our lives, he fills our hearts with blessings that are matched by no thing in this world as his blessings are spiritual and eternal and greater than anything this world could ever offer. Put your faith in Christ Jesus today and watch how he will give you a new life in spirit and begin to grow you in his love for you for eternity in Christ. Dear Lord, we celebrate the gifts that you give us as we learn to utilize the tools you give us along the way to grow closer and closer to you. We celebrate the love that you have for us that we may in turn learn to share that love with others in bringing glory to you through our lives. Your blessings for following your plan for our lives is unmatched by any other. And we thank you, Lord, for saving us from the sins of this world that we may live eternal in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.